I think we came out kind of flat-footed, and um, Santa Monica did a really good job keeping us out of our element, keeping us from moving the ball quickly. The first 20 minutes, if you look at the way they played, they got ball and they were kicking it behind us. They were trying to turn us the whole time and they trying to pin us in our half. It worked, and then we had to adapt our uh, strategies and our game plan. Uh, coach gave us a very inspiring speech at halftime. He really lit a fire under us, and we came together and supported each other on the field, and that's, that's why we were able to stay on the front foot and run away with it. That was our goal, to win the game with a bonus point that will put us in a really, really strong position to clinch for the final. We can't come out flat like that again. We have SFGG next weekend, and we really have to come out firing all cylinders for a whole 80 minutes to come out with a win in that game. Brian, like I said, I mean, he's, uh, he's been playing for about a year now for us. He's a football player that's, that crossed over to rugby. I was playing at the University of Colorado, and I always idolized these guys, and I thought this was just such an amazing program. When he arrived here, he was a blank canvas. Um, he knew a little bit of the game and it was so nice to coach him now and he's just like a sponge he's absorbing everything we're coaching him and teaching him every game he's getting better and better and better and once again it shows he's a man of the match you know he scored three tries the best try i think was um going chris hathaway he took the ball up and he drew two or three defenders in and then had a really nice offload of me and i was just lucky enough to be there and be in space and take it in but um, he deserves a ton of credit for that try. He made his tackles, he had some great ball running situations, or ball carries, should I say. You know, I mean, he was all over the pitch. The tries were always nice, but I'm more proud of the off the ball play and the defensive play, because the, the coaches try to tell us that what makes a good rugby player is what you do away from the ball, not with the ball in hand. Really just the whole team in the second half. Everyone really came together and we, we played like brothers. And um, that's why we were able to win the game.